So people ask me why Blender for 3D print design. Most people are using Fusion or Tinkercad or Inventor, tons of other programs. But the reason I love Blender is because it's incredible. Um, so this is Blender.com. If you've never been there, you can download the newest Blender 2.93 on their website for free forever, uh, but they're doing a lot more kind of geometry node-based designs. And if you're brand new to design, you may be like, what the heck am I talking about? But it's a bunch of nodes because the future is all generative, guys. So that's why I really enjoy this program as one, just because it's incredible, but two, that they're doing all these updates like crazy. And not only can you use it for hard surface modeling production or just 3D design in general, but for 3D printing, um, you can also take photos of your designs. You can do sketches with grease pencil and animations, all kinds of stuff. Um, the sculpting is ridiculous and incredible. So if you are doing like tabletop games, you know, sculpting may be where you want to learn. You can also do movies eventually if you ever get into that. I'm, I actually went to film school, so I'm very interested in this, doing virtual reality, augmented reality. Um, it really just is endless. So that's why I love this. I feel like Blender is like a 3D print design for artists, you know, uh, just anything that you can do. Uh, getting started with mesh modeling is pretty easy uh, to get you know, just to get a taste of Blender. And then you can kind of just keep going as far as you want to into the software. So again, like I said, they're moving more into geometry nodes, uh, which is, I think, the future of customization with 3D print design and just making things very flexible and modular. Um, then they're also doing, uh, you know, say if you wanted to add different, uh, you know, parameters that people online could just type in and just easily change your models. Uh, this is where I think it's all headed towards, and I think it's super exciting. Um, I know Fusion and other softwares can do generative as well, but uh, this is just uh, you know kind of the, the way they're going. Um, you can do spreadsheets. Uh, if you mess up the nodes, they'll actually tell you what's wrong with it. Uh, you've got, again, your you know, super data-driven spreadsheets if you're into uh, you know, the nitty-gritty of everything. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just ridiculous, and it keeps, keeps growing every every day they're updating this so uh, again like i said if you're into like um, miniatures or just doing super organic like hyper detailed models for like resin or any kind of 3d printing uh, or metal you know blender's just great the sculpting is ridiculously powerful um, and it's just getting better um, what else so if you like drawing then you can also do um, you know your sketches if you want to send to clients uh, you want to, Amber, my lover lady, who's my co-captain here at Print That Thing, uh, she's actually making a graphic novel and doing all of it in Blender. And we can also 3D print those designs. It's just ridiculous and endless. I use Grease Pencil a lot, just sketching out ideas before I actually make the designs. Um, but, you know, if you want to make an animation, you can do that too. Um, ridiculous rendering. They've got a real-time render engine, so you can actually just take products and video loops of your 3D print designs looking incredible um, and just export it out in real time you don't have to wait days or you know uh, to you know get a result and it looks pretty ridiculous so um, you know do volumetrics for liquids or kind of like um, super crazy organic shapes that you would take you forever to model by hand but you could just do it uh, with blender so you know this it just keeps going on and on but I just wanted to share kind of why I use blender versus these other softwares um, if you've ever used tinkercad blender is like tinkercad times a hundred it's like tinkercad on steroids it's just ridiculous so um, yeah check it out if you're interested we're going to keep learning this i'm going to be updating uh, new courses all the time and sharing things that i learn along the way right now i'm kind of focused more on geometry notes so i think a lot of our future courses are going to be flexible super flexible designs uh, with geometry nodes. So stay tuned, keep learning. Uh, yeah, you're just getting started. So enjoy these, the playlist and uh, we'll see you on the flip side. Later.